Tableau yeah. GPT, Tableau owned by I almost, Salesforce. I always feel like we could have consolidated this to Slack and Tableau into one, but I guess each deserves their own moment here. But I'm not going to let this one. Could, no, this is exactly what they would have wanted. No, right? this different is different brands, company. different I mean, sub companies, different CEOs, right? Yeah, I'm just saying for us. I got you. I got you, know. you bro. So, you. so I'm going to make this kind of kind of brief here, right? So yeah. Tableau you know, on the other end. So Slack is more that user interface every day. Well, Tableau is kind of that like decision driving engine of a company, right? If you're a CEO, Tableau is that visualization, that dashboard insights that you would need to run your company, run your business unit, run your sales team uh, in a very concise way. So, you know, I guess the company is now just like we've been talking about with Microsoft, looking across their portfolio and all the different products so sales, the data with Tableau, Slack with chat, and they're basically looking to say, how do we make GPT and open AI capabilities uh, enable companies to make better decisions? And the bottom line is that, you know, that is the number one use case that IT leaders believe, over 80% of IT leaders believe that generative AI's biggest opportunity is to make help organizations make better use of data. I'll file that under, duh, um, you know, like kind of obvious, but at the same time, you know, what, what's going on is companies have these vast data ecosystems and how do you utilize that the technology in something like a GPT, something like a generative to say, we're gonna pull from all the data sources in a very con uh, comprehensive way, using natural language to query, to get a visualization of what you need to know in a really short order. And that's really what Tableau GPT is, is gonna enable. You know, it's gonna enable faster decision, more personalized a analytics. It's going to, you know, basically give more capabilities for uh, decision makers to get the dashboard they want. So if you're building Tableau historically, you needed kind of a developer or at least someone that understood low code to a good extent to develop a dashboard for you. But when you wanted to basically get any inquiry or insight that was not part of your dashboard, it was really hard. So think about being able to query your business analytics system the way we are querying a uh, uh, Bard or, or ChatGPT or Bing with Generative to say, hey, you know, I want to know how many refrigerators we sold in the UK between January and March of this year. So while you may have had a dashboard that was full year to date, you just wanted to see three months. And then you wanted to see it by a salesperson or then you wanted to see it by a region or buy a certain retailer store or, 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 or the ability to use NLP, natural language generative to get those dashboards updated in real time is huge for executive decision making. It goes back to what I said about Benioff saying you're going to have a, you're going to have Einstein in the boardroom. This is that kind of insight with analytics, with data visualization that becomes the genius in the boardroom that can instantaneously get you those numbers. If you ask anyone on our team at Futurum, I ask these kinds of questions all the time. How much did we sell year to date to this customer versus how much have we sold this year to date? You know, these are things that are buried in your CRM. They're buried, like it's never been impossible to get, Pat. It's just been really a big pain in the rear end to be able to pull it up. And it ends up taking time from someone that could be doing something else. And now they can be doing this. That was a great, uh, great breakdown, Dan. So a right. couple things here. This Tableau GPT is based on Einstein GPT technology, uh, as you would expect. A little bit confusing having, having different names across different products. My guess is, um, or my hope is, that if you have customers that are using the entire Salesforce suite, I don't think you want different, you don't want Slack GPT, Tableau GPT, Einstein GPT, I, I don't I don't I don't like that move, but that's branding. And I think uh, it got us to talk about uh, like we've talked about uh, Salesforce flavors of GPT three times now. So um, mission accomplished uh, marketing folks. Uh, one thing that that I wanted to point out, too, is is this is not pulling data from the Internet. This is not pulling data that has been trained. Uh, publicly on there, this is information coming directly from your uh, enterprise. So anything that's in Salesforce Customer 360 uh, it gets access to that. Any place that you had previously pointed uh, Tableau to 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 pull this in, uh, it will um, work across all of those platforms. 
And, you know, I said on Slack GPT, this was kind of what, what it was made for. Tableau, G, T Tableau um, if you look at what GPT is adding to it, it it's making Tableau better, right? Uh, when Tableau first came out, essentially it was intelligently through analytics technologies being able to, uh, you know, you could script uh, different queries to make it easier. Uh, it did have the ability to ask uh, questions, but what came, came back based on analytics and machine learning wasn't all the best. So this is supersizing it. This is, this should, I haven't used this. I've seen some videos on it, but should lead to better answers uh, more quickly. And at the end of the day, that's what a tool like Tableau is, is made for, is to pull in the best data when you need it and keep uh, people like Daniel Newman, if you have to work uh, for him, uh, very happy. And Sorry about that. Nothing at all. I mean, whether you're Daniel Newman or a PC company that wants to know uh, how many uh, notebooks uh, and the revenue acceleration and profitability in Malaysia in, in the third quarter, uh, you should get that information as opposed to having to go out to uh, an analyst who has a giant spreadsheet, has to put together some data and 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 pull it in. So I like it very consistent with some of the uh, data plays that uh, that we've seen uh, from uh, the other folks, whether it's, you know, BI uh, or or some some stuff from Oracle.